If you get shot at by rockets, you can shoot them with your gun. Guys, it's time to go. Time to go to a place where everyone's happy and no one's sad. Where uh, people are polite and bow. And everyone, everyone knows karate. Oh wait, that's the wrong way. Ah, <sighs> what a great day! Best anime titties around. You know it. Yeah, people bow a lot and attack you constantly on the street. So this is the this is the power of next gen. I it, I don't know why it wasn't working before, but it sure is working now, which is great. Um, that sweet sweet fourteen for you can kind of see it through the sub feed up there. <laughs> Eat my 2K, Sony. Actually, I'm <clears throat> I am hyper excited for the PlayStation 5 after seeing some some of the review coverage for it. Um, yeah. What gaming news sites do I use? Um, I don't really use use like sp I don't go to a specific roster of sites, but I would say nowadays the two big sites that I visit a lot are PC Gamer and Eurogamer. Um, they tend to, like, have the the most, like, I would say, hmm, uh, the, the way that they do coverage gives me what I want to know most of the time. I don't know why, but the Yakuza 6 video you did at Funhouse with the Crew is always one of my favorites. I've been really excited for you to get into that series on stream. Me too. Yeah, your Destiny board's still up. I, I mean, I can't. I changed the game. So, what do you mean by board? Also, you mean the the plugin? If you refresh, it should get rid of it. Um, and I know that that's annoying, but because yeah, I have it set to where if I um... oh hello anything, I have it set to if I uh, if I set my game to Destiny, it has the the item manager plugin thing. この顔を忘れたとは言わせないよ。関連の裏に今こそ原さん。is also extremely appropriate for a JRPG uh, because that's what JRPGs are. Uh, the directors of like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy would talk about how they have to basically tell you story like puppet theater. You have tiny characters on a stage speaking aloud to you. Um, Final Fantasy VII really did kind of crack that that nut open by giving you different camera angles and different like motion inside of dramatic scenes. But now, yeah. Just, I'm so happy, you guys. I'm just so happy I get to... I get to play console games at 60 FPS now. Oh, what a wonderful day it is. I go to the theater more if it were like this. You gotta go to, you gotta go to community theater, man. <laughs> I, I don't know how big your, the town you live in is, but I guarantee you there is some... There is some theater there. Probably.
Look at this goddamn Last next gen meet. makeup er, makeup wiping. Been in some quacky ones to support friends. Yeah. Spoil the rest of the series. I don't think so. I think it's it's a full side story. There might be like I'm gonna have to rely on chat for this because I actually haven't finished all the Yakuza games despite playing a good number of them. But I'm gonna guess having played a good number a good amount of this already. Um it's probably just references. Kondo, <laughs> you never have to worry about knowing who the who the villain is in a Yakuza game. <laughs> Bunch of serious same games are dropping on Switch next week. It's a good fit. What is this? Bro, this is anime. Daijoubuka. Masumi. Kami Hubuki wa shinpai suru na. Ashita, truck no naka de Tosan ga kittoi te yaru. Miss Sally Hart, I think we just said the same thing. Tosan ma. Shibai wa sanryu da ga Kami Hubuki wo kidase tara ichiryu te. <laughs> Video game teeth looking okay. We're in Yokohama. Ah. Just like going to church. Within the first 20 minutes of a Yakuza game, you have to be on a, a Japanese street. Strolling. そうだ、マスミ。横浜の学校の友達にはちゃんとお別れ言ったのか。友達なんていないよ。いつも言ってる。Can you usually tell you stories like this? This is a very traditional JRPG. さあ、ビシーこと言うな。Um, uh, I mean Yakuza itself uh, is pretty cutscene heavy. A lot, of, a lot of controller on the lap, like watching, watching very emotionally fragile men scream and cry and hug and beat the shit out of each other. <laughs>。Yeah, gangsters of the heart of gold. 100%. The Yakuza series in general pretty much paints that like while Yakuza are outlaws, they're not bad people. Kind of like, kind of like Godfather, even though Godfather was like, no, they're, they're bad people. But tried to make the point that like, it's just two sides of the same coin kind of thing. Like, cops may enforce the law, but it requires both to make society function kind of thing. A little bit off. Thank you for the prime sub. Oi, oi, Masumi. Main dish mine, you Yeah, it's like Fast and the Furious. <laughs> They may still DVD players, but also they fight international terrorism. What's so bad about the Corleonis? Don't answer that. Oh, I mean, that was the cool part of, well, theoretically the cool part about the Godfather is that there were shitty people in that family. But they were not as bad as other mobster families. Also, sorry, I talked over a very dramatic scene.
Those are Pecking gun classic cuisine. Those <laughs> are Oh shit. I'm sorry, children. Children's cover your hand cover your eyes, please. That's next gen, baby. Mr. Why does he have a scar? His, I guess, mom, manager, gave it to him? Used probably in a fit of rage. Does the scar explain to relevant? Uh, yeah. Mostly just, just backstory to this character, I think. Yeah, the mom definitely did it. Just kind of humanize this character, I think. Is there a particular reason you're playing this on Xbox and not PC? Is it out on PC? I thought it was I thought it was a Series X game. Uh, I am so confused by this generation um, of the games that are available on which platforms and which ways. Uh, I guess specifically I got a I got a code. I got a code on Series X, so that's what I'm playing on. And it runs at 1440p 60, not 120, but whatever. I'm normally PC first on everything, but uh, now that now that next gen consoles are out, the the, the difference is between I guess 60 and 120 frames per second, and I can oop, I can handle. I can handle playing a game for free at the sacrifice. Like, if, if I just have to go down to 60, I can handle that. There's no way he's pro tag, he doesn't have the hair for it. Just wait. Just wait. His hair will, uh, his hair will change. Oh, okay, I was about to say the power of next gen, but <clears throat> typical Yakuza doing a flying crossbody splash off the second floor balcony. <laughs> <clears throat> A real human being. Thanks for the sub. Oh, thanks for the prime. A little bit off. Too far. Thanks for the prime. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too far. Too uh, Ichiban cares about the integrity of street porn. Oh, Nod, thank you for the prime. Next gen teeth, baby. <laughs> I I love how informal the uh the translated dialogue is too. Give that a shot. I will. So yep, it's a JRPG, baby. Opportune strikes really dish out the pain, so take every chance you can get. Alright. Uh. The red zero. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throat got really gummy all of a sudden. 
Red gauge at the bottom, right is your energy or HP health points. If Kasuga's HP reaches zero, it's game over. HP can be recovered using items. Why not take this opportunity to take a bite of your onigiri now? Any flavor will do. <laughs> oh boy, first big decision. Salmon, seaweed, or tuna? Hmm. I'll go with salmon. Select like guard for Kasuga to defend himself until next turn, so decrease the enemy damage you take and protect against both bleeding and stun. You know the enemy's next attack will be a powerful one. It might be best to put your guard up. Just a thought. Who's trading VHSs in 2020? This is 1999. This is uh, December 31st, 1999. Or December 1st, 2000, I think. Because they properly identify 2001 as starting the next the next millennium. That's it for the tutorial. Oh, one last thing. If there's ever anything like a bicycle or a street sign near an enemy, a normal attack will change into weapon attack, leading one to use, or in some cases kick, the nearby object to unleash some serious hurt. So this is what's kind of cool, is that it is a pretty strict JRPG, but the enemies move around kind of like Chrono Trigger, a little bit, which means that sometimes when they move closer to a prop or something like that, you get bonus damage. So that's an interesting thing to watch out for. But you cannot control where your characters move or where the enemy moves, they just kind of walk around on their own. So it's just kind of like seeing targets of opportunity and taking them. Which is a weird, a weird aspect to have in a JRPG. I guess you could, maybe you could just wait until your character, like, I bet if I walk next to that motor, or that scooter, I might do something with it, but. Do that environmental where you basically murder them against the pole. Harder to do that in this game, uh, intentionally. Good job, rank up. Ooh, I'm a level two Yakuza. That vic that like victory music though. This combat looks kind of fire. It's not bad, and it moves fast. Uh, but there are still people who really hate fighting through menus, and this game is not gonna convert them. Each bond. Oh, Silent Killer, thank you for the sub. Oh, Mitsu, go to meet Emil. Oh, yeah, Tyler, there's, there's magic in this game. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the Tojo clan? Yeah. Bussy Juice. Squirty Venus 69. Hell yeah. Still packing up that Christian dance game to send with some random snack goods from South Carolina? Oh, I would love that. Oh, if I can if I can elevate the Lord my God through dance, I would be glad to. Thank you for the resub. No. So that means it. Is this PS4? No, this is uh, Series X. I should put that in the title here. I love how lovably anime good guy the protags are. Yeah. Uh, to a fault. They They will all, like... Yeah, 100%. So this is the conversation I referenced before. About him being a self-admitted JRPG protagonist in real life. This dude's getup is so good. Long shorts and his. I want to wear that so bad. Yeah, zip up short sleeve shirt. 
喧嘩になると頭の中で自然に回っちまうんだよドラクエの世界が<laughs> also, I am such a sucker for games referencing games. Movies do it all the time, and for some reason, games. It's, it's, been, pit, it's been dialing back lately. But, uh. Games borrow from games all the time. I just really wish games would be a little more overtly reverent when they do it, instead of pretending like it's not a completely normal and cool thing to do. Mm. Kojima's never shied away from game references, yeah. I mean, Princess Beach is a little on the nose. I'm more about stuff like this. Or if you're making a game that's basically Dragon Quest, why not wrap it into the character? Why not wrap it into the theme? Yeah, sometimes it's just to, like, mock. Or, like, arrow to the knee references. There's that. I want more, like, more fundamental, systemic references. Or acknowledgements, I think. Hey, what's up, Oddball? Welcome. <laughs> also, the protagonist is a big gamer. Or used to be. But I think there's a lot to be said about kids that were raised by video games instead of parents. What would a Dragon Quest hero do? What do you do in every JRPG when you're given the option of giving the money back? You give it back. It would be cool to see cutscenes that mirror shot composition from other games the way directors do it in movies. It has to have happened a couple times, but I can't really think of it. Well, how in Japan people just kind of stroll up to you as soon as you finish your last conversation. Because there is on YouTube, yeah. That's, that's There's always a reward for being generous. Yeah, all that just right. You do it just in case. Like, you don't need the 300 gil or whatever. But what if they give you a hidden item that that's the only place you can get that item? Alright, we get to walk around Japan finally. This is it, boys. This is what we've been waiting for. Seven years under the yoke of past gen games. And now, full 2K Japan. You can read signs. To me, the biggest the biggest thing about that makes this game so special is that you can go from like outside to just walking into an interior and then like looking directly at a small box on a shelf and reading what it says without any loading. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, I love boxes. I love boxes and fake products and shelves stacked with things. Now you can see that like like these textures are not all hyper HD, but it's so much different than just like what a PlayStation 2 game used to look like or even what last gen used to look like. Yeah, they don't look 2D. It's a bunch of 3D objects on a shelf. I know that Red Dead 2 like, went a long way towards that. Of like Every object on the shelf is a 3D object, some of which you can pick up and manipulate and buy. Men's cool wash. Men's dry wash. Clean hand club? Alright, are you guys a men's cool, a men's dry, or a clean hand club? I need to throw down now. Ooh, super toilet. I'm so tired of my normal toilet toilet paper. So what's this, like, radio station playing? That's so cute. Everything's so cute. Excuse me, kawaii. Oh yeah, get out of here. I heard you're about Dude, you're staring at me. This guy's been staring at my, my wash closet. I can't afford shit. God, look how expensive all this crap. Ooh, could improve my style. I hate to say it, but you're in bad shape. But yeah. Like a dragon, just functioning like most Yakuza games. At, it, at its core, if it's a goofy Japan simulator, that's almost enough for me. Just walking around seeing signage and stuff. 
logo treatments. Ah, so good. Got into Yakuza during Zero and I just love fucking around. Yeah, that's that's definitely one of the the major perks of the game. Oh, Alien Sven, thank you for the uh, thank you for the cheer. You're immense cool. Ooh, throwing down on a good one. If you go to Akihabara in this game, what would would the pro tag be excited about it? I mean, maybe, probably like going to a store and seeing figurines from old old JRPGs. But he doesn't seem like he's hyper into the. Uh, he's not an otaku. I don't know what's being sold here, but I want it. Adult goods. Yep. I'm okay with that. Oh, I can't go there yet. Get out of here. Definitely not porn. Not uncensored black market porn. This is where the real shit is, though. These, like, back alleys where there's a million bars and restaurants, but each one is, like, one room and has seating for three or four. And that's it. Just, like, whiskey bars on whiskey bars. Hold on. Let's stroll down here a little bit. Get that little RP walk. Ah, oh, I can feel those rays of sun. Ah. Oh. The power of next gen. Is that how Japan really is? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was lucky enough to go to one of those places uh, when I was there. But like, so there was a bit of a, I guess you could consider that a load, the the dip to black, but you don't have to stare at a menu, you're just right inside. And then like, look at, I'm not, I'm not 100% on this interior here. Uh, hmm, I don't, I just don't like that color scheme. But this is actually a generous amount of seating. But yeah, it's just like one room, and then the person probably sleeps in the back. There was an old man pub where I grew up like that. Max capacity of seven. Yeah. Earth Angel Mama. Also, I am I am super down with high resolution photos of food. Oh man. Pasta sticks. Also, that's that's real liquor. <laughs> Did they li they license real liquor? And it's like, yeah, it's all whiskey, scotch, and cognac. And soju. No gin? No gin for the Japanese? I feel I feel strongly that out of all the world liquors, you have to be in a culture that has dr that has had gin for the past millennia to, to really be into gin. See, <laughs> it seems like as an export, gin just doesn't do that well. It had to be the only thing you could drink for a couple of millennia. And then it's it's in there for for real. <laughs> I guess I'm thinking Spain and England are like the two n gin nexuses in the world. Uh, shellac? What's this all about? Any culture colonized by the British? See, I'm into this a little more. I like the brick. Just stacks and stacks of CDs. Writers into music. Got playbills and stuff on the walls. We have gin and crab juice. Oh, bleh, I'll take the crab juice. <laughs> I don't mind gin, but I feel like I feel like you can make pretty drinkable drinks with just like shitty whiskey, shitty vodka. It's very hard to make something that's that's delicious and palatable with cheap gin. You ever finished playing No More Heroes? No, not the remake. I, I mean, I finished it way back in the day. Is every place available to go inside? No. It is marked on the menu, or it is marked on the um, the world map, the uh, the interiors you can visit. Ooh, specialty whiskey. Booze, booze increases your MP? Yeah, that makes sense. If I drink enough, I can cast magic too. <laughs> All right, let's go to the story objective. That's what, that's what, oh, what? Oh, I want to go here so bad. I want to go there. Like not, not just a, not just a PC retro bar, but a Japanese PC retro bar 
That would be so sick. Because that's like a whole aesthetic. Oh, Julio, or Julio, thank you for the year. Thank you for the year of subs. Pour gin in a glass, then smother with Sprite until tolerable. Mm. Yeah, that, that's about right. Gin pairs really well with citrus, for obvious reasons. Streaming your full time job. I guess it, yeah, I guess it is. I don't consider it a job at all. Um, I look forward to it every day. But it is my primary source of revenue. Um, there's a couple of other things that are, I do that are more work, but they end up costing me more money. So it's it's kind of interesting. Come on. GRPG hero. Full-time gamer, part-time pimp. Fuck yeah. Living the dream, Varen. You're 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 hundred percent right. I I try not to like dwell on it too much because I know that like I'm exceptionally lucky. Uh, to be able to do this. Oh, the thirty eighty notification should be coming in the next few weeks. Okay, I'm not in a rush. Um, ooh, personality disc. I appreciate I appreciate that. Yeah, let me know, let me know how that turns out. I mean the the thirty ninety XT from AMD has got me real interested too. So I'll I'll weigh weigh it all when that happens. A favorite Death Grips album. I've only listened to Money Store all the way through, and I liked it. But I have to be in the mood. Like, it's good workout music. Um, that's pretty much... Or good, like, walking around music. That's kind of it. Tachiono,おっちゃんよ。日曜ママは酔っ払ってるだけじゃねえか。今更何言ってんだ。この20年、白くのママなんて見たことねえよ。それよりよ、桃源郷でトラブルみたいだ。すぐに言ってやれよ
So yeah, you can see on the mini map there are certain areas that are like colored in. Everything else is just kind of there. This is a very glorious suit, though. It's such a wonderful shade of purple. I guess. What would this be? It's not burgundy. It's not maroon. It's not coral. Hmm. I don't know what color this would be. Oh, I'll step over, but wine. Wine is. It is maroon. You think? I mean, it might be. Plum. Probably close. Closer. Oh. Oh, a hooligan boss. <laughs> so yeah, and also not all the O's is um hoist. Some of the side stuff is just text. Cause it wouldn't be a JRPG if you didn't have to read a little. Oh. I do give uh, Earthbound credit for reading developing reading speed. Thank you for the G Fuel. Thank you for... Thank you for ordering it. Uh, ah. Salander. Um, or CS Lander. Hmm. CSE Lander? Probably that. I... So, I signed up I signed up for a 30% off code starting on Thursday, but apparently it was 30% off last weekend, too, so we'll see. Um, I plan to stream a lot this weekend because, you know, all the big games coming out. Change your dude's hair. The game will do that for me before too long. Don't worry about it. Select skills to unleash your special attacks. There are three types of skills, attack, recovery, and support. On-screen prompts may appear during attack skills, which offer opportunities to deal extra damage by pressing X repeatedly or pressing Y at the right time. Skills cost MP mental points to activate, and your current MP can be seen as a green gauge at the bottom right. Keep an eye on it. Sure. Yeah, you can do perfect guards if you hit him in time. Defend against the bleeding and stun status effects, so strive for perfection. Gonna go record base. Alright, Nitro. Feel the funk. Uh, fan of the G Field, been using it before workouts. I settled into that too. It's really, really good to give you just like a nice lift. And it, the, like, what I like a lot about it is, like I say a lot, you can, um, you can kind of choose your dosage, so... Other pre-workout can be so, like, caffeine-heavy that it almost makes you jittery. So it's nice just to have a little bit of a, a, bit of a lift. Two doses of G-Fill gets you rolling. Ooh. Well, I wouldn't recommend that, but if you want to do that. I usually do, like, half of one, and I feel, I feel pretty good off that. But that's me. Askeef, thank you for that pair of social tax. That social virtualization dollar. Thank you very much. It Doom, thanks for the prime, by the way. I played through this game all the way through on stream. That's the goal. <laughs> uh, I say that a lot and then end up not doing it. So, I know myself. And a ton of games just dropped. So, I will try. Oh, you have a high caffeine tolerance, so it takes a lot to make me feeling awake and Hi. alert. I hear you, Cantankerous. I think everybody kind of slips into that at some point. Not everyone has the liberty, but it's usually kind of nice to have like a detox week. You can just stay home and take a lot of ibuprofen to get through the headaches. Um, I haven't gotten to that point yet, but I feel bad for people that... Uh, I've slipped into that, and then, like, you gotta keep functioning. Oh, Smile Burger. Ooh, I can go into Smile Burger. We love your smile. Ooh, a Millennium Tower Burger. Is that, like, tomato relish or something? That's a big-ass burger for Japan. We eat fish and rice for 20 years, and then you try to eat, eat a Millennium Tower Burger, it's just gonna kill you. What we got here? A barbecue burger... Is that like 
What's that white stuff on that bird? Is that like minced garlic? Oh! No, it's probably like minced onion. Yeah. A little crunch. A nice coffee. A little, a little strawberry sliced. Is that fish at the bottom right there? With egg? Sliced egg? Hmm. Is that like mozzarella? They have like a caprese burger? Here, let's try. Yeah, the the <laughs> the burgers don't look too hot on the sides. It almost looks like they're sun bleached. Like the 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 saturation and the coloring is a bit off. Oh, that's a cool looking poster though. Yeah, this is all I don't know enough about like Y2K aesthetic in Japan, but it reads that way to me. So yeah, I guess it's like tomato relish and then another big tomato slice on top of it. I got some food. I got some walking around money. Oh, okay, teriyaki burger. King smile burger. Look, double the meat. Oh, it's tuna. Okay. That's pretty good. And what is this? Oh, it's pork. Okay. Yeah, with like soft boiled egg. That would be very fatty. Oh. Like fatty pork that looks like it's covered in like sweetened sauce with with an egg on top. Mm. Man, that would be rich. Probably got mayonnaise on them. I mean, I don't. Maybe mayo could be under the the lettuce, but that has like a big old glob of mayo on top. This doesn't look like it's very mayo. <laughs> Double the freedom. <laughs> Smile shake. Smile salad. Choosing the healthy alternative to a burger is always something to smile about. <laughs> okay, fine, you got me. I'm trying to eat better. That starts That starts in video games. Itadakimasu. I have to get my MP back. Gotsou-san? I do kind of wish that they would show... Uh, like, not every game can be Final Fantasy XV in regards to food porn, but I wish every game were Final Fantasy XV in regards to food porn. Also, notice how like the co the color grading changes when you move inside. It's very blue outside, and then it instantly becomes like yellow and warm. That's typically how interiors and exteriors are presented. Outside is like colder, bluer, and whiter. Inside is yellower and more golden. <laughs> Yeah, because the laughing at sounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Why did I stop at the burger place when I could have had ramen? This is totally a thing, too, of like Japanese places dipping their ramen bowls in a in like epoxy or resin and then just having display bowls. It's weird to see all this food like frozen in time. Um Matt's Matt Sipple, 4,000. Thank you for the sub. And brother, thank you for the prime. Oh. Hello. My dad got poisoning from a salad in a fast food joint. <laughs> Never has he ate healthy in a fast food restaurant since. Yeah. I don't I don't blame him for that. Oh. Is it croquettes? Oh yeah, you got to order from the machine. Yeah, I, I fully understand eating uh, or getting food poisoning from something and then that food just being off the menu for the rest of your life. Alright, let's go get a plunger. <laughs> right, that's what we're here to do. A shit rooter, you know. Mm. Historic hero, yeah. That's one of the great things about being a tourist in Japan, uh, said one of my old co-workers was stationed in Japan for like 10 years. He said he loved being able to just point at what he wanted in noodle places and sushi places. Yeah. Um, in my experience, especially, in, I mean, it, I can't really speak about Tokyo, but a lot of the restaurants, are the menus are very pictorial. Uh, it's just a picture and then a number under it for what it costs, which reduces the communication down to nothing. Like, you just point at what you want, they ring it up, there's a number, you slide the, the money on a tray, they give you what you want. It's great. I feel like a lot of that is meant to 
ritualize the like social interactions to make it all very prim and proper and orderly makes total sense. <laughs> It makes it very, very, very easy to be a tourist in Japan. You do that specifically for tourists and foreigners when you are in big cities that helpfulness drops down really fast. I would assume. I would assume. Yeah, spamtasticular. It's super, super helpful in Tokyo. Um, I only went to Tokyo, Tokyo, excuse me, Tokyo and uh, Kyoto. But in Kyoto, we went to like onsens, which are also hospitality places, so they make it easy for uh, tourists as well. Yeah, if I just like walked away from the onsen down a random street and went to a random restaurant, I'm sure that would be a lot, a lot crunchy, a lot crunchier. ビッグシティトゥーリストタイプ Imagining all these conversations in classic 2D anime form. This game is a big anime. Where occasionally you get to do a, uh, you get to wander around Japan or beat somebody up. Which, yeah, it's pretty perfect. Oh, everyone speaks English in Sweden? Oh, okay. He's just there, just down the street. Oh, Anige. Shakin Otoko Itaga. Hey, are Mitekutasai. I just Google Translate in Tokyo to ask where can I drink an enormous amount of beer? I mean, that would probably drop you into one of the like the red light places that has unlimited drinks. Aitsuka. Stusko Anige. Mai. Izo. ああ、平塚さんよ。優雅な休憩時間だな。借りた金を1円も返さずに吸うタバコはうめえか。ああ。なんだその辺は。ヤクザ舐めてんのか。他の組には通じたかも知らねえが、再建が荒川組に回った以
I thought I remembered there being some kind of big dude that would beat, beat the money out of you in Yakuza 1. But maybe I'm just making that up. I think the Series X is it worth an upgrade from the 1X. On peak, it, it really depends how much disposable income you have and, and how you play games. And, and that's such a... That's such a, a, a weaselly kind of uh, answer. The problem is, like, this, this generation transition... It's it's a weird it's a weird mix of like what games are you gonna play in the future and and how does it change backwards compatibility and right now backwards compatibility is by far the way way more important factor because there just aren't that many games right now. Uh, what's under etc. Uh, item use and here. items and tag out which I guess I can't do yet. Stretched well before the stream. Oh, I didn't single serving friend. I just sat down. I did a lot of stretching yesterday. I don't know if that helps. I'm near a barrel. Do something. Oh, okay, or don't. Do you have any wrestling moves? Not yet. I just have the uh, the big punch. And again, I am only level three. I'm gonna cramp. Are you insane? I guess I'm just I'm just I'm just that reckless of a gamer. <laughs> a fruit punch samurai. Thanks for the prime. <laughs> yeah, the, the big stuff about Series X is that it um, it turns on and gets to gaming within like ten seconds, and that that sounds like nothing until you actually do it. You pick up the controller. And you turn on your Xbox, and then you turn on your TV, and before your TV's on, the Series X is booted and ready to go. And then you hit a button to launch a game, and then a, like two, two to three seconds later, no joke, it's up and running. Um, and that is such an amazing feeling, <laughs> especially after waiting two, three minutes in the past. And then you like you pick up your phone, and then you start scrolling Twitter, and then like the game is up, but you're now you're reading an article, and it's just like. It's so much more immediate, and for me at least, given that I tend to be pretty flighty, uh, just being able to like pick up the controller and instantly start playing. My NES could do that. Yeah, Captain, you're right. The uh, I want to say it's it's the level of immediacy with gaming that we haven't felt. I mean, the Switch does it, but consoles haven't done it since like. Nintendo 64 was the last one. Optical media introduced a lot of lag to the gaming process. So we finally got back, you know, 20 years later. Also, yeah, Ichiban's being very wholesome here. You guys ready for some anime? What is this outputting? This is in 2K, 1440p. So that's something we're thinking about too, is that the Series X has a bit more functionality and integrates a bit more with the PC setup. So if you have a 1440p monitor, the Series X can output 1440p. Um, and that's how I'm playing it right now. I have it running through my PC capture card into a 1440p monitor. Um, doesn't help the consoles were super underpowered this gen. Yeah, the PS4 was kind of where it needed to be. But the other. Yeah, he took a loan from the mob to pay for his sweet mother's health care. <laughs> she was so happy. Hey, what's up, man, man? Thank you for the reset, by the way. Oh, he's paying his mom hospital bills! We can't take that money back! It's for his sweet mom! <laughs> oh, fucking Yakuza. Must be playing my PC right now. I don't know if it's one of those new tech. It's super exciting and I want it or not. 
<sighs> it's gonna be hard to justify buying a Series X if you already have a gaming ready PC. Um, then it's mostly just, okay, Series X is an easy way to take the PC experience to your living room. But so is a PS5. So then it's the difference of like, okay, Game Pass. Game Pass is a huge factor. Uh, I would say Microsoft's approach to backwards compatibility is a huge factor there too, but also apparently PlayStation 5's BC with PS4 stuff is super on point. And they just didn't say that. Uh, Digital Foundry's backwards compatibility testing was, was amazing. But it's only PS4. Whereas... Uh, Series X can do Xbox One, 360, and OG Xbox. Is Game Pass for PC worth it? Oh yeah. Big time. That's an easy yes. If you, if you play one game on Game Pass, instead of paying 60 bucks, you've already, you've already justified the cost of, like, six months of Game Pass. Maybe more like four, but still. And they bought Bethesda. So the, it's it's weird because like <laughs> uh, the the Venn diagrams are getting very complicated and super fringe on their features. So so to recommend consoles like this this go round, I kind of need to know how like an individual plays games, what kinds of games they're interested in, how many times they play games a week. Like all of that goes into it. And even then, I think the differences in feature sets are going to be pretty slim. Um, but they're still there. It's uh, it's it's just so crazy. Like, gens in the past used to be, how powerful is this box? How powerful is that box? What games does that box have? What games does that box have? And then you stare at it, and you're like, I want that one. It's nothing like that anymore. It's so wild. visual novels and can't read. What console do you recommend? Mm. The PC. Get a, uh, get a Raspberry Pi. Oh shit, is it Tuesday? Oh no. Really? Oh, fuck. I'm gonna miss the trash again. One second. Ooh. Garbage day. <laughs> No, luckily Steph Steph fucking had it. She she put the the cans out there. Praise God. I I was too late last week, so we went two weeks without having garbage pickup. I did not make it, but my sweet loving partner did. So she she got my back in more ways than one. First world problems? Absolutely. 100%. The tribulations of living in America. I might miss the opportunity for someone else to carry my garbage away. If it helps, I have to pay for it. But, you know, what don't you pay for in America? Oh, that's a ding dong. Hold on. <laughs> now there's somebody at the door. One second. Oh man, that was sick. <laughs> so the FedEx dude knocked on the door and he handed a box and he was just like, Xbox! And I was like, Awesome. Uh, it was Stephanie's Xbox arriving. Uh, should I hook it up for her? No, she, does she want to do that? She might want to unbox it. But yeah, that X dude like knew because it was coming from Microsoft on today. Steph's real excited to play Cold War. Yeah, sewer and water, typical charges. No, you, you pay for every utility. Electric, water, trash. What's really weird is some of it's metered and some of it's not. So, water and electric is metered. Trash is a flat rate. Um, Internet's a flat rate. いつまでも俺を気遣い
I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot in the United States about deregulating utilities, just making them private providers. Um, I think California, it's like it's it's provided by a private company, but it's regulated like a public utility. But I agree. Um, in Texas, I lived in Texas when they deregulated electric. And basically, electric companies provided private service to citizens, and there was no regulation at all. And it got fucked. Uh, my bill, like, quadrupled one month. Just because. Yeah, exactly, Battle Royale. It's, it's funny because, like... Like, uh, I'm gonna pause for a second, because this is so annoying. I can't tell you how many times people test this. Of just being like, the free market will sort it out. And then individuals get absolutely fucked. Every time. Every time. And somehow, people keep getting convinced that it's going to work out. Anyway. I'm okay. I'm all for tests, but why do we keep making the same mistake? I mean, I know why. I'm not stupid, but it's just silly. How, how obvious can the fucking evidence be and somehow people are able to throw money at a problem and, and convince people it's in their interest? How'd you end up in LA? I got a job here. I moved. I put all my shit into a car and drove. Apply for the job or did they headhunt you? Uh, neither. I... Yeah, I'm still in the place where I fell off a roof. Um... So the path there is... For years I, I volunteered at various gaming blogs, writing tons of articles and stuff. Uh, at one point... One of the dudes that I had worked with on a previous gaming blog was working at Machinima. Uh, he was an employee there. And they were looking for contract writers to fill out their gaming blog with content, reviews and stuff. And since I was a contract writer, uh, and since we had worked together in the past, um, he, uh, he reached out to me. I started doing contracting writing for Machinima. Worked real hard. Eventually got more work, and then they eventually extended a job offer to me. About, uh, I want to say a year and a half after I started contracting for them. What kind of gaming articles did you write? Reviews or news or something else? <laughs> Everything. Like, I, I just pitched all sorts of stuff. I did tons and tons of reviews to start, and then they decided to want to do a news cycle to try to get some search engine okay. traffic. Um, so, I remember <laughs> the day they contracted me to do 10 news articles a day, was the day that I finally made enough money to have that be my full-time thing. So, I would wake up in the morning, do 10, 10 news articles, and then spend the rest of the day like either researching and writing uh, video game features or reviews. So, that was that was when I basically did it. That's that's when the dream was accomplished, when I didn't have to when I didn't have to do other contract writing. By the way, he just stabbed himself with a Welcome. A super a super drug so that he could walk for his girl's birthday. It's ten, ten, news, ten news articles a lot or a little? No, it depends on it depends on the nature of yes, them. Okay. You write ten gaming news articles and tell me how much work it was. It becomes fast when when you know the background of everything and you're a fast writer. They left the used needle. They also left the wheelchair. <laughs> it's called G Fuel? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I still have all that stuff. I loaded it all into a uh, an Apache server that I can run off my local machine so I can go back to all that writing if I need to or want to. Source says 900p. Is that normal for a 1440p game? You cannot stream at four. Well, you could stream at 1440p on Twitch, but it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, so, it gets a little complicated, but Twitch does not allow you a lot of video bandwidth. So, if I tried to stream in native 1440, um, 
You would have to have scenes with almost no motion for that resolution to matter, because it's a very small amount of video data stretched across a very wide canvas. So on Twitch, the game is to kind of figure out, with the amount of video bandwidth you have, which is very small, um, how do you present the good, the best balance between resolution and um, video fidelity? Oh, here's the thing, though. Um, I can record at native quality and upload native quality to YouTube, which I will be doing. So if you want to see this in 1440p, as clean as it can get from what's coming out of the Xbox, you might want to check out the VOD on YouTube, which I will upload in a couple days. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. So I apologize, uh, oh. but that's just kind of... If this were on YouTube, again, I could... Could, uh, could push, push higher quality, but... Eh. Yeah. Are we still doing Talk to the Internet podcast? We decided to give it a break for a while. Um, uh. It's it's a weird mix of a bunch of factors. Uh, it's pretty complicated, actually. But long story short, um, I know it's kind of it's kind of caught between the middle of a couple of things. Um, there's desires to make it a little more engaging and, and interactive of a of a show. But then also realizing that I don't think individually we have the time or the bandwidth to invest all that time in it. Or some of us do, but like I don't want to be in a position of, of overworking for a podcast again. Because that's kind of was me with Dude Soup for years and years. I would put, I would invest hours into like finding show topics and writing out notes. And, and none of that effort was really valued. So I have a bit of baggage there. I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm shouldering the load of another podcast that people end up not having the time to do or care about. So, I didn't want to be in that position, and other people are, are pretty overworked. Bruce has a ton of shit going on, Kraken has a ton of shit going on. So, uh... Oh yeah, I have to go around and just ask random people until I find out where she is. <laughs> Yumeko is not Yumeno-san? No, you're not good enough. Who wants to tell? But I'm in a media share. Um, I, I just like playing video games more than than watching videos. But um, I do admit that media share gets me out of my media bubble a lot, because uh, I've been exposed to a lot of great like music and and cool shorts and stuff through media share. So it's good for me. But still, I. Uh, a hot blooded guest. There's just so many video games I want to play, and if I'm sitting here watching music videos, that's not me trying to uh, to grind out wins in Doom, Doom Eternal, which is all I care about. It's not me searching for this particular hostess. Oh, there she is. Okay. Also, the other the other factor that honestly makes me a little nervous is that I'm really bad. At, I'm pretentious. I can be a pretentious guy. Um. And if there's something that like, and I, I am also like. I'm trying to think of how to put this. Media share brings out an icky side of Twitch parasocial. T so Tim, yeah, you, you're kind of you're kind of hitting on what I'm trying to talk about from another perspective. It's like, there's a weird situation that occurs when somebody sh somebody puts something in media share they really like and really care about. And if, like, if it just doesn't hit with me, it can create a weird dynamic where somebody thinks I'm being overly critical, and sometimes I am, because I can be pretentious. Uh, I just, I don't want to make anyone upset by not reacting with joy to something that they really like. Um, I feel like it's easier for me to channel that joy about basically any video game. But it's a lot harder for me with, with you know, internet shorts or, or YouTube comedy. Um... I, I feel like I have, uh, you know, more levels of pretense there when it comes to being like, this is not very good. That's not on you, though? It is, though. Like, if I'm the host and people are here to chill out and have a good time, uh, me being snippy about some YouTube video that somebody else really likes is not conducive to that. So... It's not really an issue, but it does create a... It can create a rough dynamic. 
Just smile and nod. Ah, see, people can tell. People can tell. I'm not good at faking that. I'm not good at faking anything. Which I think is why I'm, I'm decent at just Twitch streaming in general. But not so great at, at having people show me YouTube videos they like. Friends and I do YouTube share nights for fun and bits and music videos. I love that, though. Like, I think the difference is, like, if it's just, like, six six people hanging out in a room and, like, adding videos to it, like a Chromecast YouTube queue, the dynamic there is totally different than everyone submitting videos to for one person to review and comment on. And I much prefer the, the completely equal... Circle of friends setting to like the many to one relationship of a Twitch stream for that. I've learned to show interest by asking questions. It doesn't work with just being shown a meme, but it helps when people are spelling, spieling about stuff. Yeah, I mean, most people, when they're excited about something, they just want to, to they want to share what they love. Uh, but again, that dynamic gets a little weird uh, because text is delayed. Um, so if somebody has paragraphs and paragraphs to say about something, it's going to take them a while to bash it out. <laughs> Someone knows sequel? I've, I've messed around with sequel. Oh shit. The police commish. Throwing stacks of cash at the police commissioner. <laughs> womp womp. Things just got interesting. No more destiny? Um, I would love to be playing destiny. I just can't log in. Is anyone, anyone, anyone dispatches from the destiny front? Anyone able to get in the game reliably? You just spill coffee everywhere. Right. Oof. Saw the cat. Do I know that feeling? Do I ever? Still full? Can you still queue and get in, though? Okay. Still on. That's a big nope. Alright. Here's the itinerary for today. Um, playing like a dragon. Hopefully Destiny opens up at some point. I can get in there and get some good grinding work done. And then, uh... Depending on how the evening goes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dose up on some hardcore edibles and play through uh, Tetris Effect. So, we're gonna go on a spiritual journey later. Oh, you've been in the game for an hour? Oh, you've actually been able to reli like, reliably play? I got in, but like, it just kicked me after like five minutes. Gummies or cookies? Gummies. Gummies are a lot easier to get in Cali. Mate started playing when it started, yeah? Dedicated my game time to finishing the Ultra Nightmare Doom with Tunnel Runs. Got to Gladiator and died enough to practice them like five fucking times. I was pissed at myself. <sighs> Do I know that feeling? Reclaimer. Who oh boy, do I know that feeling? I'll tell you what. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll play this until I can save. And then we'll click over and see if I can get into Destiny. <laughs> PS4 user saying everything is fine. Really? Yeah, on PC it was rough about a, about a month ago, but... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ichiban wingman, wingmanning for his bro so hard. Ichiban, we're like, itchy bad, am I right? Oh, shit. What a fucking dunk. Masato putting Ichiban on the ground. Yeah. My paper straws disintegrating. Damn. 
Hey, what's up, Pop Tart? Welcome. We're watching some big anime today. Did you play any of the other Yakuza's? I have played most of the Yakuza's and I finished none of them. Oh, Picards, I actually I like paper straws. This one wasn't intended to be used for this drink. But, yeah. Silicone metal or glass reusable straws. I actually have a couple of bamboo straws that I like a lot, but they're both dirty right now. So I just rifled around in my uh, my drawer for a leftover straw, and there was this paper one sitting there. But yeah, I have a couple of glass straws and a couple of bamboo straws. The glass ones are okay, but I like the bamboo ones better. They have a little more texture to them. Uh, really want to play Yakuza? Is there one you recommend starting on? Yakuza Zero is probably the, the best one to start with. This this one is a JRPG, though. So I might actually recommend this depending. Um, I know some people maybe have, like, arthritic hands or just just not super great at hitting buttons really fast. Uh, this one might might do really well if, if you struggle with, like, action games or beat-em-up games. Because this is menu-based. So... You can take all the time in the world you need to pick the motion, the attack you want from a menu. Um, there, there is some like button mashing. There is some like timing elements to it, but you don't really need. Uh, you don't really need to use those. So if you've struggled with action games in the past, uh, this might be the game to start with. Well, this game's not really related to the, to the previous canon. New characters and stuff, so. How are you enjoying this one? I'm kind of bummed about the switch to turn-based, but I haven't tried it myself yet. Oh, I love this game. I really do. I, I think the turn-based JRPG mechanics work so, so well. With uh, with the tropes of Yakuza and the kind of, like, goofy, real-life version of Japan the game takes place in. Adding, like, JRPG tropes to that helps so much. Also, fucking Ichiban being a bro. Teeing up the good present with a shit present first. Just getting shit on, man. He's overhearing? Some cheese man in the restroom? さっきだってとんでもないものプレゼントしてきて、今度はマンション買うだとか。もう怖くて。怖い。そんなもの。もらった次の日に全部売ってしまえばいい。だってそんなことしたら何されるか。何が怖い。脅迫か。暴行か。
toxic masculinity of like the main characters solve every problem by screaming and punching but then they'll flip and just talk about their emotions in a very deeply resonant way uh, and cry a lot, <laughs> a lot and deal with like emotionally complicated situations that just bubble up from the ground immediately okay so Bruce was Bruce was saying that he got into destiny so it might be time to drop a drop a save here guys I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I was at I was at chapter three but that's gone now that playthrough doesn't exist anymore oh well, he's so mad I guess he's got a lot to be mad about also I don't I think there yeah there is a high resolution mode but it looks so much like this is gonna mean nothing to, to people on twitch but ugh, look at that frame rate I didn't, like that's that doesn't make sense to me. It's probably downsampling from 4K uh, to like that's got to be like 20, 20 FPS, maybe maybe more like mid 20s. You lose so little. It's not even 30. That's got to be sub 30. Yeah, maybe maybe like 24. When there's not a lot of when there's not a lot of motion and you're just walking down the street, it stabilizes out a bit, but. I mean, it does, it's 100% more crisp. You can read it a lot in his hair and stuff like that, all the fine texture work there, but it's just not worth it. I am I am a frame rate man, and I am, man am I glad that modern games are kind of giving you that toggle more and more often. 30 FPS can look good, but not if the scene isn't intended to be 30. I agree with that. Okay, uh, let me, I gotta swap around some cables, but I'll be back in just a second. And hopefully we'll get into... Is that ray tracing? It is not. It, it is screen space. So, like, look at this sign. Look, look how it disappears when it scrolls off the screen. Well, I can't get it off the screen, but... Uh, let me find a good puddle. So, like... Ah. Let's see if I can find a good reflective puddle. Yeah, so, like... And this puddle in the top middle here... You can kind of see that the details in it disappear when the people standing there scroll off the top of the screen. Yeah, just screen space. Oh, explain screen spacing. So, uh, real ray tracing hits a reflective surface, bounces off. You got your Xbox? You're welcome. So yeah, screen space reflections means it has to be in the screen space to be reflected. They just take what's already drawn on the screen, flip it, and then that's what you see in the reflection. Real ray tracing can draw things that aren't on the screen, but are being reflected from off screen. So essentially, ray tracing has to render stuff that's not visible. Which is normally... Uh-oh. Burnout bullies coming after me. Let's see how long that lasts. Ooh. It's New Year's Eve, man. People are getting wild. Steph got uh, Series X. This is Steph's a lady of class. Okay. Um, I'll be back in a second. I gotta, I gotta flip, some, flip some cables so I can swap my uh, capture... Back to my PC. See you guys in a minute. Down, then to speed 